Hi. This episode is about the structures of the cosmos, and how the universal consciousness can exist in it. Science has long since confirmed that the same patterns of network structures exist in the universe as well as in our brain cells as in the internet etc. You can find tons of videos and articles about this. Try e.g. to do a Google image search on the words, universe brain structure, then you can see it with your own eyes. But here I only give a very brief insight into the subject, to give you an idea of how consciousness can exist in the cosmos. This in continuation of my presentation on consciousness, part 1. When we talk about consciousness, most people immediately think of human consciousness. But consciousness is much more than what we understand as human consciousness. Consciousness is a universal force of nature that exists everywhere. As humans, we always point to our brain when dealing with consciousness. That is where consciousness is found. It is also true enough, but it is not only found in the brain. All cells have consciousness and all around us consciousness actually exists. In the brain we roughly understand that consciousness exists and unfolds in a multitude of brain cells, nerve pathways, and neurons and so on. So a kind of complicated network structure, that are miraculously able to communicate, a bit like the internet. Now let's look out into the universe. Here it turns out that there are very similar network structures. Structures that pass through galaxies and galaxy clusters, and spreads over everything in the universe. These structures are exactly similar to the structures we also find in the network structure of the brain. Therefore, researchers have investigated this phenomenon, and can demonstrate without a doubt, that this kind of structuring actually repeats itself in all complex networks, including in the great cosmos, our universe, our brain, and our internet. But is this equal to consciousness? Yes it is. This is how the force of nature organizes itself, and it is all controlled by consciousness. In these structures consciousness unfolds. This applies both on a cosmic level in the universe, of which we humans are only a small part, and this applies at the micro level in cells, molecules, atoms, and subatomic particles. You can hear more about all this in the previous episodes on consciousness. In conclusion, one can then ask whether these structures also apply in black holes? The answer to this can only be, yes. This is because black holes are part of the universal force of nature, and therefore inside black holes the same principles will apply whereby the same structures will exist. This would also mean that black holes contain consciousness. And ultimately, black holes can in principle be unique universes. If you are curious about more, try as mentioned, to do an image search on, Universe Brain Structure, and you will see. Thanks for watching. I hope we'll see again.